New tonight, hundreds of members of the local Iranian community gathered in Carmichael today to protest the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini, who died while in custody of Iran's morality police. It comes as demonstrations have erupted around the world. And ABC 10's Br uh, Bridget Bjorlo joins us now live in the studio after speaking with some local Iranians who still have family overseas. Bridget? That's right, Luke. That young woman was taken into custody for not wearing her headscarf properly, and she died days later. Local members of the Iranian community told me that could be their sister or their daughter, and they want the U.S. government to stand up for human rights in Iran. We know for Iran! 30-year-old Samara Nori recently moved to Sacramento from Iran in search of a life with more freedom. Yes, I'm Christian. They don't accept any no religion, so you have to be Muslim there. You have to cover your, you know, head. So I, I'm not gonna accept that. And because 22-year-old Masha Omni didn't cover her hair properly while in Iran, she was arrested by the government's morality police and died in custody. Samara says that could have been her or someone in her family. I'm, I'm shaking because I'm mom. You know, I can feel the mom that you know losing their kids. It's really painful. <laughs> It's why she's here in Carmichael, to amplify the voices of Iranian women and demand they get the human rights they deserve. There are about 21,000 Iranians who call the Sacramento area home. Hundreds of them are gathered out here today, standing in solidarity with anti-government protesters in Iran. We support United States of America. This is our new home here. But again, we are still having family members and friends back there that we feel for them and our thoughts, our prayers are for them. Like many other Iranian-born members of this crowd, Eskran supports the push for progress in Iran. I think people have had it. For 43 years, the government has cracked them down and they have not had the chance to express their, their feelings, their thoughts. And together, they're calling on the U.S. government to support Iranians fighting for regime change. All of my family is still over there, and we are voiceless. We need voice. We are, we are helpless. We need help. And the crowd also speaking out about sweeping Internet shutdowns in Iran, making communication among protesters very challenging. They're calling on the U.S. now to do more to restore access, Luke, so that we can really see what's happening there because mm -hmm. the violence is just really unsettling. Yeah, that's right. And uh, actually, it's been deadly in yeah. Iran as well. That's right. And we don't know the exact totals, but human rights rights activists on the ground are estimating that as many as 76 people could have died during clashes with the police, but the concern is that number could be far higher than that. Okay, we'll continue watching this closely. Bridget, thank you.